Okay, and now we'll hear from Senator Mark McKinney of Warwick, and I hope you take note of his tie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Julie. I get to pull this out for special library events. Uh, I see Patricia Roth, president of Providence Community Library out there, and she's seen this one before. Um, I uh, was president of the Providence Community Library myself for some time, as well as chair of the State Library Board, so I have a great love of libraries. Uh, I want to thank the mayor and uh, Mr. Inouye for coming all the way from Washington to the smallest but the best state. Uh, and I want to thank Ed Garcia, who's been behind us, as well as Julie. So uh, thank you, all of you who are library supporters. We will need you to speak up uh, as this bill goes through the legislature. Now, you know, over the years, I've heard and I've used the statement, public libraries are a great equalizer, uh, many a time. And I assumed it was from Shakespeare or something else. So I went recently and looked it up. Keith Richards. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I read his autobiography a number of years ago, uh, probably on an audio book, uh, and uh, uh, I didn't recall that particular line, but I've used that line many a time over the years. You know, the average citizen needs his library, her library. It's critical. Uh, I happen to be a big user of library ebooks, primarily uh, audio books. I, listening to one of my cars I came today. So as I'm thinking about this, and I happen to recall looking up Keith Richards, it did get me thinking the problem we have here is Macmillan has sticky fingers. And I look at this, Macmillan won't let go of their books. And I've got nothing against Macmillan, but they have put severe restrictions on how many Macmillan e-books libraries can purchase uh, and how long they can have them to lend to their patrons. So I'm glad that Ryla is street fighting on this. Uh, you know, Ryla requested, and I filed, a bill that would accomplish a couple things. It would stop publishers from limiting the number of licenses for e-books uh, that libraries can purchase on the same date that they're available to the public. It would require publishing houses to offer libraries reasonable terms on e-books and digital audiobooks so they can in turn provide them to their users. Uh, so we're asking Macmillan for simply reasonable terms for libraries. That's all. And I understand you can't always get what you want. <laughs> but if you try sometime. Uh, and so the terms that we're asking for, again, are, are quite reasonable. Let me tell you specifically what the bill says. It, it still allows publishers to limit the number of simultaneous, simultaneous users. It allows them to limit the number of days that libraries allow user access. And it still allows publishers to use the kind of technology that prevents a user from keeping the ebook beyond the uh, license period or providing it to other users. So what a publisher can't do, and this is the crux of the bill, is the publisher can't limit the number of licenses for ebooks uh, that libraries purchase on the same date that they're available to the public. They do that, and they can get paid in black. It's an unfair and deceptive trade practice, and there are penalties. You know, I've never had anything at all against Macmillan, but it strikes me that right now, the way they've acted, I've got no sympathy for the devil. Libraries are not asking for much. What do we want? We want satisfaction. <laughs> Thank you. 